Hey guys, before we get into today's video, I just wanted to show you these pictures that I took whilst playing the Liverpool and Spurs games. We were 2-0 up against Liverpool. Sadly, we drew 3-3 and we took the lead in the first minute against Spurs and held on to it. Hello there, welcome back to the channel for episode 47 of my FM23 beta save here with Leicester City. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day as this video finds you. Forgot to mention in the intro that for the Spurs game I was without Pedro, Ossiman and Akadi. Cardi's recently come down with an injury. Um, you might have seen it in one of the pictures in the Liverpool game that he came off injured. Yeah, after scoring as well which is very disappointing. Uh, we actually had Yao Pedro unavailable for both the Liverpool and Spurs games as well. And obviously, Ossiman was unavailable. So it did go to the 4-5-1. No, sorry, 4-3-3. Why did I say 4-5-1? Don't know. Uh, but um, we also managed to avoid defeat against Wolves because we won 2-0. And then you would have seen those results just then as well. So we are still unbeaten in the league, which is really, really good. Didn't expect it, to be perfectly honest. 20 games in, 13 wins, 7 draws and 0 defeats. Uh, just a point ahead of Liverpool, who are, of course, uh, hot on our tails. Man City not too far back either on uh, 42 points. And Arsenal on 41, who we absolutely smashed not too long ago. Now, focus does go to the Carabao Cup today. Um, as I'm recording this... Um, Arsenal and Spurs are at 0-0 at the minute. I think they their game kicked off a little bit earlier than ours. So um, this is the team we are sending against out against Everton. So uh, we're back to pretty much full strength now, I think. A um, few, few players are a little bit fatigued, so they'll start on the bench. Camavinga and Fatty mainly pointing towards there. Silva, um, he no longer wanted by Chelsea. He's not. That's good. Or is it? Yeah, it's good. Um, I did have loan offers accepted for Rudiger and Sergio Dest, thinking I'd, I'd need more cover at right back. Uh, but the the loan for Dest was going to cost me like seven hundred grand a month, and they um the, I should say actually, the board came to me and said change your season expectations, and he had the option for me to go for um qualify for the Champions League through the league and. By selecting that, it gave me another £500,000 a week in wage budget. So I was like, well, I'm pretty sure we're going to... Oh my god, it's over £100 million now. Oh dear, this is bad. This is bad. This is so bad. Transfer expenditure. I've not spent any money. That'll just be... Oh, that'll be um, fees coming out for players. Probably still from the first season. Because <laughs> I really messed with the never-never on that. I don't think I'm going to do the never-never really. In the future, if it's a long-term save, then absolutely not. A save like this is acceptable, because, yeah, why the hell not? So, I actually transferred most of that into transfer budget, um, thinking, oh yeah, maybe we'll get another couple of players in, in January, give us a little bit of options. So, yeah, I did have loan offers for Rudiger and Sergio Dest accepted, but, um, you know, Rudiger, I mean, do we really need another centre-back? Because we've got Stones, we've got Theatre, we have... Uh, Martinez. We have Thiago, who is obviously coming through the ranks. And we also have Antonio Silva. Now, if Antonio Silva was to leave, then we'd definitely need a player because he's by far our best centre back, I would say. Um, speaking of transfers, we have accepted a bid from Crystal Palace uh, to loan uh, SA, so be returning there. And um, it comes with, uh, I think they'll be paying 40% of his wages. And a 15.5 mandatory future fee, uh, which I think at this point I'll probably take because he's barely playing. He's on 100 grand a week, which I could really use elsewhere. So I think that's a good deal, really, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'd be more than happy with that. So, yeah, that's cool. So I'm reason completely froze then and had absolutely no idea what to say. But there we go. Let's get into this opening game against Everton. Reminder, guys, we are playing both legs of this um, tie against Everton today. So, no focus on the Premier League today. It is purely Carabao Cup. We beat Everton both legs, or we win over two legs. Then we're in the Carabao Cup final for the second time in this save. I'm hoping we can do it. It would be nice to win a cup. And like I said earlier on, this is probably our best chance. <coughs> Excuse me. Just add another cup of tea. <laughs> if you're keeping up with Parker recording and all that. I'm um, not recording this the same night. It is the next day as I'm recording this from the 
past couple of episodes. So there we go. So let's get into this game. We have Trouble in goal. Back four of Thomas Theete Stones and Justin Gallagher and Raider in midfield. To Pinelli on the wings and Ossiemen and Pedro up front. I mean, if we can do what we did to Ajax, then maybe I won't play the second leg in this episode. Maybe we go over that and play somebody else. I'm not sure. If we win this by four or five goals, then there's no point in me playing the second game. I mean, it'd be silly too, really, wouldn't it? Um, we do have a Norwich game in between these. Oh, I've got the uh, only commentary on, haven't I? We are playing Norwich in between these games in the FA Cup third round. Um, I won't be showing you that game. Harvey Elliott tries to put it over the top. It's cleared by Mina. Nobody Mina. The Mina. Uh, WWE pun there. Right, Theatre now. Wins the ball. Out to Harvey Elliott. Harvey Elliott slips it into how Pedro I think is offside. Apparently not. Uh, ignore me. We've taken the lead. Eight minutes in. And Yal Pedro scores. I mean, that's not bad, is it? That'll, that'll do. That will certainly do. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Let's win this by four or five goals. And then I won't have to show you the second leg. I'll just show you a different game instead. I may even show you the Norwich game. Why the hell not? Right, Memphis to Pye with a free kick here. Memphis to Pye. Oh, that's not too far away. Not too far away at all. Um... I said in the last couple of videos that um, I was thinking of upgrading the PC. Um, it's actually running really smooth today. Uh, touch wood. My um, desktop is partially wooden, so I am actually touching wood. So um, yeah, I mean it's running nice and smooth. I hope you guys agree. Gordon tries to put it over the top. Oh, that was that was interesting. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, running much smoother this morning, I think. Um, I did do, like, after I finished my recordings last night, I did uh, run a smart scan. Um, cleared up quite a bit of RAM, to be perfectly honest. The Pedro, oh, God, Pedro can't win that. Cleared quite a bit of RAM. Gallagher, can he shoot this? He can't, but ooh, what's he going to do here? Oh, God, that was awful. Uh, so I clear, I've, you know, I cleared to about 6 gigabyte of RAM, which... I think for me is actually really good for this PC. So I got that and then I did a full system scan and got the computer to turn off last night. So um yeah, I think because of that. Oh, oh I thought that was 2-0. Ossiman really close there to add into uh, his uh, decent tally this year. He's not been prolific by any means. He's not been like you know the Ossiman I've seen in other saves, but still not bad, not bad at all. Stones with the clearance against his former club, don't forget. Right, Memphis to Pye. How is it forward? Ossiman wins the header. Beautiful ball there to Yal Pedro. Yal Pedro back to Gallagher. Gallagher out to Elliot, who's got a bit of space. Puts it into Yal Pedro, and he's missed. Oh, Jesus. I thought that was offside anyway, but I would have preferred Harvey Elliott to have a go himself there. Why the hell not? Right, Ansu Fati is coming on, as is Paul Wanner and Kamavinga. That's easy enough, isn't it? Make those three changes. All good. Um, I will probably, I will probably take Justin and Stones off for. Um, I mean, this would have been perfect for me to bring Sylvan into play, but he's uh, out on loan. Now, um, I for one am really uh, looking forward to see how well like Sylvan, Silvio, and Tiago, and even Endrick get on because you know they're four Brazilian. Potential wonder kids in the future. Hendrick, certainly. And Tiago as well. I think that guy will have bags of potential. Thomas slips it into Camavinga. Ossiman in for Ansu Fati. And it's 2 0. Get in. Beautiful stuff. So, I, pr I mean, depending on what happens to the financial situation will probably determine what I decide to do with a save long term because I have thoroughly oh I just got a lump of wax out of me here. I have thoroughly enjoyed this. I really have. And I mean part of me is ready to let go, but part of me's not. So um I probably will 
do a video like simulated like maybe 10 years into the future um, but I'll do it like separate to the make to this save I'll do it as like an add-on in it and just create a different save file so um, I'll do that and see how well they do in you know the next 10 years or so if they get big moves or whatever but you know that will just be a different universe well, well maybe maybe come back I don't know my mind's not made up yet I'm I'm torn because I'm I'm just torn through it really yeah right then 2-0 win um, in the first leg I'm quite happy with that you know I didn't really expect anything less so uh, yeah we are going to be playing the second leg apologies if you didn't want to see that but that's what I'm doing um, Arsenal and Spurs drew so that's actually not too bad because I'd probably prefer to face Spurs in the final because we've had previous against Arsenal in the final and we lost so uh, yeah let's get to the second leg against Everton um, I'm going to do the Norwich game off camera so I will see you in just a tick an emphatic win against Norwich in the FA Cup third round gives us a home game in the fourth round against either Eastleigh or Bolton Wanderers. Um, could be interesting. I guess we can field some youngsters in that team. Um, transfer news. Um, Ed Say rejected the move to Crystal Palace and I literally can't even shift him out. Not even for not even for zero. So no idea what's going to be happening with him. Um, on the outs, you might have seen that just then, but Thiago has actually gone out on loan to Nottingham Forest. Now, um, I'm hoping that I'm hoping that's for us. I'm hoping he means that for us. That'd be nice. But um, yeah, he um, with the loan, he's down as a regular starter. So I'm hoping that uh, he gets some game time and returns to us a little bit better. It'd be nice if he's up to two and a half stars for when he comes back. Then um, I wouldn't need to like sign another defender. I mean, we could probably lose like Theatre. And then would still probably be alright. Because I think Thiago would probably be good enough to slot into his role really. But uh, there we go. So we're pretty much back at full strength. I've decided to leave Pedro on the bench. He's not fully fit. so And I don't think we're going to need him really for the entire game. But this is the team we're using. Uh, we've got Makuku up front. Andre Santos comes into midfield as well. Because we are a little bit thin on numbers with uh, Camavinga, Fatty, Silva, Pedro, Lemty. All of those. Just a bit fatigued because of how many games they've been playing recently. So, uh, there we go. So, uh, hopefully Ossiman can add to his tally today. That'd be fantastic if he can. So, let's get into this game. And uh, hopefully we can see this through with another win. Um, you know, a defeat wouldn't be the end of the world as long as we go through. That's pretty much all I'm bothered about. So, um, let me let us see, shall we? I deliberately played the last game with uh, key highlights on, uh, just so I didn't have to come back in and swap it again in this one. You know, I, th I think about you guys. Right, James Justin intercepts the ball forward now. He's running forward on this right-hand side. Tries to put a cross in. He does. Andre Santos cannot win that. But unfortunately, Andre Silva does. But he gives it Andre Santos for us. Goes back to Stones against his former club now. Theate. Theate to Memphis. Still with the ball. Out to Thomas now. And Thomas get a cross in. He can to Makuku. Oh, it's a decent save. Pretty much, I mean, I say decent save. It was pretty much straight at him. So it wasn't really, was it? Right, Thomas with the resulting corner. And it's headed clear by Abdu Diallo. Andre Santos to James Justin. I'd have thought this highlights run its course, really. Unless Raider can score. Oh, he can. Oh, beautiful. <coughs> I'm going to go out on a whim and say that could be goal of the season. Wowzers. Bloody hell, it made me choke. Blimey. I was not expecting that. James Justin. Raider. I mean, oh, the way he turns and... Oh, the way he slotted it into that top left-hand corner. Beautiful. Oh, majestic. I actually saw a shop in Devon, which was actually called Majestic. Made me laugh. Don't know why. But there we go. So, half an hour in. We are 3-0 up on aggregate. 1-0 up on the night. And it uh, doesn't show me the uh, current score for Arsenal and Spurs. I don't think they're actually playing tonight. 
I could be wrong. They might be. Right, Makuku dances through the defence. Can he get it? Can he get it to someone? Wana is with Wana. Oh! Clips the bar and goes over. Wana's had a cracking year. Wana, I mean, we're in January and I've already said he's had a cracking year. He's been, oh, Justin. Oh, phew. I thought, I uh, thought the worst then. It's James Justin. What do you expect? Right, Ossiman can't win that. Uh, Andre Santos can, but it's been given away. Can we win it back now? It's with Ben Godfrey for Everton. Goes back to Pickford. Godfrey. Garner. Gordon. To Deli Alley. Cuts it into Romu. Uh, is that offside? No? Wow, okay. Defence caught nap in there. That was uh, a slight scare. But we're coming up to half time. And we are 1 0 up. That's good. I'm satisfied with this. We're not at full strength, you know. We've not got Camavinga or Fatty or Pedro in the starting 11. So, you know, we're good. We're good. We're good. Memphis to pie for Reina. You know what? That's a good change, I think. Not really giving Rainer a lot of game time recently. So, oh, are we getting a highlight here or are we just frozen? We're getting a highlight, which is awesome. Theatre, hey, oh, what are you doing? Ugh. That's not very good. Theatre, you dunce. Ugh. Garner for Everton. They score it. We've got to be a little. Oh, Theate! Right, he's got to come off. He has got to come off. I'm not. I'm not even kidding. He has been awful in these last ten minutes. And Silver's coming on for him. He. Oh God, he's such a donkey. Right, we're going to bring Gallagher on as well. Oh, I thought Connor Gallagher was three, three and a half stars. Apparently not. But there we go. Right, can we win this back? We can't... Okay. So, Reina was offside. Fair enough. Right, let's make those changes, please, because Theate was... Um, Theate was playing terrible. You know, he... Oh, God, that's, that, was, that was just awful. Right, um, let's make our last couple of changes now. Uh, Lempty for Thomas. Put Justin over there. Oh, I could have really brought Martinez on, couldn't I, instead? But Ossiman really does need to come off and he's is he carrying an injury. Could be. That's not good. And we'll bring Yao Pedro on for Ossiman, why not? Right, 77 minutes on the clock. Wana whips in a free kick. Uh, it's cleared. And Altovic goes back to Diallo. Andre Silva. To Lucas Mora playing for Everton in this save. Nice. Godfrey, Garner. And out of it, Stones has basically done a theatre there. But he's managed to get back. Dwight McNeil on the ball. And out of it. And out of it just scored. Oh dear. We have just gone to pot. We have just gone to pot in the second half. I think the tired legs are telling, man. It's 3 2 on aggregate. Oh god. All right, Andre Santos out to Wanner. Can he win that? He can't. And the ball is now with Godfrey. Andre Silva. Justin with the interception. Good boy. Back to Silva. Silva out to Wanner. Lovely ball. Oh, Wanner. I mean, he's been given the ball back, so that's cool. Right, Wanner. Can he whip it in? Can he do something? Wanner to Andre Santos. Why is that being... I'm assuming... Yeah, I'm assuming that was from a cuckoo. It, it does count, which is good. And I think now that will see us through to the next round. To the final, sorry. And that's good. Because um, I'd have been a bit annoyed if we lost the game, obviously. But um, I think a draw on the night is a fair result, really. Right, Reina with a free kick. Can we nick it, really? Realistically, I don't think we really can. Lempty goes back to Stones. A very audacious pass out to Wanner. But he does get it. Wanna goes back to Gallagher, back to Wanna. Wanna's got a chance here. Slips it in. Rainer. Oh, when Makuku scored. And we have nicked it at the death. <laughs> hey, come on. 
I weren't expecting that. You know, after we went 2-1 down, I was thinking, oh, crap, are we going to be able to hold on to the aggregate lead? And not only have we held on, we've, um, I mean, we could even add more. Rayner with a corner, and it's been cleared. Wanna now. And to Gallagher. Gallagher back out to Wanna. Wanna's had a fantastic game on that right-hand side. I think he's got two assists. Has he got two assists? Let's find out, shall we? Uh, oh, no, he, he doesn't get credited with the assist for the Mukuku goal, which is a little bit annoying. And Nautovic, oh, Lord. Little bit sloppy at the back. And Reina, oh, can Reina do better with that? He's, he's fully fit almost. Right, Yao Pedro, unfortunately, couldn't latch on to that, but it doesn't matter. We've won on the night, 5-2 on aggregate. I'm satisfied with that. You know, it was a good comeback, to be fair. It was a good comeback in the game. You know, we were one up. We were doing well. But, um, yeah, that in the second half, between 60 and 80 minutes, not good. Not good at all. But we'll take it. We're in the final. Now, the uh, question is, who are we going to be facing? Ossiman's injured. Oh, my God, he's out for another few weeks. Oh, Lord, he literally keeps getting injured. How many injuries has this chap had since we've had him? He's had so many. Literally, we got him in the summer, didn't we? So, he probably would have come in, like, here, maybe? So, he's had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven injuries in five months. That's bad. That is so bad. Oh, good lord. <laughs> oh, this isn't nice. This isn't nice one flaming bit. But we are in the final. Now, are we... Okay, so we don't know yet. So when is this game being played? Oh, it's going to be played tomorrow. Okay, so um, what I'll do, I guess I'll... You know what? I might leave it as a surprise for you, actually. Might be, might leave it as a surprise. Why the hell not? Right then, I think we're going to come back in the. We're going to come back in a few games' time. We'll do West Ham, Dynamo, and Southampton all off camera, and then we'll come back and do Mortland and Liverpool in the next episode. Uh, with that, we are still top of the table, which is awesome. And yeah, man is happy because uh, we're top of the table and we're through to the Carabao Cup final. And I, who, regardless of who we face, I rate our chances highly. I'll be honest. I will be honest. I think we've got a good chance here, guys. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like. Hit that subscribe button if you do happen to be new. And thank you again for watching. See you again soon. Thanks.